43 i have been a smoker i have been a drinker yeah. being a drinker yeah. you know you know i would think that lungs is gone full time job early morning to late evenings yeah. you, you know you have a busy busy life very very hectic schedule sports has never been in my yeah. life never been There's your family no one in the family so sports friends is, no friends play cricket them I mean, they have yeah. cricket and football but i have never been and being into smoking and drinking right. you are completely away from sports so absolutely uh, yeah so yeah. running has been you know completely an unplanned activity yeah uh, you know just want my daughter had a school event so i usually want her to be prepared for you know any yeah. sports and just to be with my daughter you know yeah. i just started this you know uh, i did two rounds yeah. on day one the second day i could do one more round yeah. the third day i could add one more to it so you are actually seeing an and everyday an improvement, progress yes. yeah and that itself motivates and finally sports event was over my daughter just said okay enough of it yeah. but i continued you know with that yeah. running and i did that and then i just got introduced to one of the run clubs over there yeah. so i joined the running club which had lots of inspiring uh, personalities mm-hmm. as part of that uh, running group met a uh, lot of inspiring uh, you know inspiring runners yeah. at the age of 50 you know they are running so fast yeah. and uh, they are also the fat you know the real fat ones whom you would never imagine that they can run yeah. that's a place i see them running comfortably 2 yeah. 3 4 kilometers it's like how do they do that while well, i can't even manage to run 800 meters there were lots i saw that i could you know keep improving yeah and one very good thing was i had wonderful mentors yeah. who would always tell me you know how much to do you know mm. so i i was always lucky not to make mistakes yeah. which is i think the biggest problem happening as of now so i have been guided that okay you today you do this or in the during the week you do this yeah. your weekly mileage should be so much yeah. you start off with your uh, you know proper warm ups yeah. you do your run you finish with a cool down yeah. so following the correct pattern yeah. you know which will lead to the best form of yes. running so 2009 never been injured 2010 not been injured 2011 yeah. is where i started uh, you know uh, started getting injuries because of yeah uh, and i think that's the reason so bone out shoes started giving me uh, achilles achilles tendonitis the, actually that was one of the reasons i started my barefoot running right you know so i was injured one day and uh, i was just sitting at home less so after around four week, four days of uh, you know uh, not running one day evening i just uh, on a sunday evening i just get out of my house i thought that let me just try a you mm. know an a barefoot experience so i yeah. for the first time ever in my life i am leaving my house without you know without shoes. any shoes or slippers yeah. so it was it was you know very odd feeling so i step i still remember every step which i took you know i went out i opened the gate yeah. i put my leg on the road yeah. first time yeah. barefoot uh, the sensation which i was getting on the sole of my feet was yeah. amazing really amazing it was like you know was, uh, a good feel which i could feel yeah. it so i i walked very consciously i walked you know not stepping on anything any wrong thing because first thing about barefoot is you know you're stepping on a glass on a on a nail on piece shit. on some shit which is really <laughs> packed right dogs yeah, all, all around the place, yeah. you know i was also looking out here you know what are people thinking of me why is this yeah. chap being a barefoot uh, yeah. you know Walk. completely different so looking around here and there okay i see people but i still did it so i did around 1 km walk yeah and then i thought okay time let me i enjoyed the experience then let me do a, a jog and see Yeah. So I did a 1 km jog. Really enjoyed it. Next day I ran with my shoes. Uh you mm. know the day after that. So which was as part of my training. I yeah. had to do my shoe. So when I ran with my shoes, I was not enjoying it. Yeah. I Why could is that? feel I could feel that you know yeah. something is there on my leg which is blocking me to run freely. Now you I mean, could compare yeah, the feeling. I could, and yeah. I could really feel the difference. Right. And and the first thing which i had on my mind was a fear now yeah. oh my god what am i entering into because i am a very competitive runner yes you know and i am so conscious about my pace at which yeah. i run and i cannot you know uh, compromise on that yeah compromise and plus i run long distance yeah. and i mean there was, i mean i had absolutely no idea what i did not even know what is barefoot running you know yeah. uh, i had to learn what it means right. uh, i did not even know what is heel strike or you know front foot strike so not, yeah. all those things were new very new yeah. to me so i went to lot of uh, you know googling and finding out uh, so i realized that was a moment where you know i don't know where am i going